Hey folks, uh, this lesson is solving nonlinear systems, so we're uh, solving a, a line and a quadratic here. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com, and this is an Integrated Math 2 class. So here's our question, is how can we solve a system of equations uh, when one equation is a linear one, a line, and the other one is a quadratic, which is a parabola when we graph it. So Sometimes, as we'll show you here in just a second, a system of a linear with a quadratic can have zero solutions, one solution, or even two solutions, okay? And we'll do that in section A, okay? And, um, and I'm telling my students that they'll, they'll need a straight edge because we're going to be graphing stuff because they need to be reminded how to graph, just like some of you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph uh, f of x equals x squared minus 2x minus 2, okay? And I'm going to do this in blue. All right, so when it's in this form, you guys, do you remember x equals opposite b over 2a? Here's a, here's b is negative 2, c is negative 2 also, so opposite b over 2a for the x-coordinate of the vertex, okay? So I get 1 on that. So the axis of symmetry is going right here, okay, at x equals 1 right there, okay? And this parabola is going up because it's positive, so it's going up. It makes a smiley face. It's positive, it's smiley, positive, get it? <laughs> All right, and then so let's go ahead and get the y coordinate. So we're going to plug in x equal 1 right there and right there, and we get y equals negative 3. So the vertex is at 1, negative 3. There it is right there. All right, so remember, it's going up. So when we go over 1, it goes up 1 squared. Okay, same on this side. Over 1, it goes up 1 squared. So I'm going to put a point right there and a point right there. Go back from the vertex. Go over 2. It goes up 2 squared, which is 4. So I'll put a point right there and a point uh, right there. And then over 3, over 3, it's going to go up 3 squared, which would be 9. So I'll put some points up there, okay? So there's over 3, up 9. And then carefully draw your parabola. Okay, I didn't reach those other ones. I don't know why I didn't. I didn't. It's all right. Okay, now let's graph this line, g of x equals negative x minus 2. Okay, so we're going to go down to the minus 2. That's my y-intercept at minus 2. So I'll put a point right there. I think I did this in red. And the slope is negative 1. So from there, I'll go down 1 over 1. And remember, y equals mx plus b. b is that negative 2. And your m is your slope is negative 1, which is negative 1 over 1. Okay? So there's a g of x right there. g of x equals x, negative x minus 2. Okay? Let's graph um, uh, this line, y equals 2x minus 6. Okay? So here the, the b is at negative 6. So here's negative 4, negative 5. So negative 6. I'll put a point right there. <clears throat> and then the slope is uh, 2, 2 over 1. So from here we're going to go up 2 over 1 and put a point. I'll keep going up 2 over 1 up 2 over 1. So it's going to make a straight line. I did that one in green right there. Okay, so there's that one right there. <clears throat> and then j of x equals 1 half x minus 5. Okay, so down here at minus 5 and the slope is 1 half. So up 1 over 2. So it's going to go right there. So I did this one in, in black, I think, right there. All right, so, um, and then 1 half is the same as 0.5 right there, okay? In fact, the book wrote 0.5x minus 5, so which is 1 half x minus 5. Okay, <clears throat> all right, so let's answer some questions about that right there. So how many solutions does the red one uh, happen with the f of x is this blue parabola right there. How many places do uh, they intersect? This red guy intersects uh, the blue parabola in these two spots right here. So there's two solutions right there, okay? How about uh, h of x, the green line, um, uh, the green line with uh, the blue parabola right there, okay? There's there looks like just this one spot right there. There's only one spot, okay? How about um, uh, the J of X, this black line down here? It doesn't intersect the, the parabola at all, so there's zero solutions, okay? So here's a picture where uh, sometimes a, a line will intersect a, a parabola in two spots, right here. Sometimes it'll intersect it in one spot and sometimes it won't intersect it, okay? Alright, so so let's go ahead and graph these guys, okay? So here 
I'm just reminding you how to graph parabolas, you guys, and lines. So here the graph is uh, opposite same, the vertex. This is in vertex form. The vertex is staring right at us. So opposite, so this would be negative 1, same would be negative 4. So the vertex is at negative 1, negative 4, okay? All right, and then over 1, up 1 squared, over 2, up 2 squared, over 3, up 3 squared, and so on. Okay, so there's our parabola right there. Now we'll graph this uh, line in red, so we'll go down to minus 2, and then from there go up 2 over 1. In fact, I'm going to go from this minus 2, I'm going to also go down 2 to the left 1 so we can see uh, the intersecting points right there. Okay, so they're intersecting right here and right there. So what are the solutions? The solutions are where they intersect. So they're intersecting at negative 1, negative 4, and 1, 0. All right, now in our classes, we're not going to be doing any graphing on the homework. We're going to be solving algebraically. Okay, this is the same problem that we just graphed. So let me go back right there. So these are going to be our solutions. Negative 1, negative 4, and 1, 0. We're just going to solve these guys algebraically. Okay? All right, so <clears throat> where, they're, uh, where they overlap each other is when this, the y-coordinates are the same. So we'll set this equation equal to this equation and solve for x, okay? So they equal each other when they equal uh, when they overlap each other, so the y's are the same. All right, so we're going to FOIL this out. x plus 1 times x plus 1 is x squared plus 2x plus 1. All right, and then we'll subtract, make it equal to 0, I think, you guys. In fact, I'm not going to because there's no bx term. So here... When you subtract 2x, they cancel each other out. Here, I'm going to go ahead and go plus 3, plus 3, and get x squared equals 1. Square root, don't forget your plus or minus. Okay, now remember, these are ordered pair answers. So we got to plug uh, x equal 1 and negative 1. I'm going to plug it into this linear equation. It's easier to do it into the linear one. So when we plug in x equal 1, we get y equals 0. When x equals negative 1, we get y equals negative 4. So we get the same answers as we did when we graphed. Okay? All right, let's try this algebraically. Okay, so set them equal to each other. Well, I foiled it first, and then I set them equal to each other. Okay, make it equal to zero because we got a bx term. This is a perfect square trinomial. This becomes x plus 3 times x plus 3 or x plus 3 squared. Okay, so set that factor equal to zero gives us x equals negative 3. So there's only one solution on here. So plug in x equal negative 3. So negative negative 3 minus 5 becomes positive 3 minus 5 which is uh, negative 2. So the one solution is at negative 3, negative 2. Okay, one more. All right, so we're going to set these guys equal to each other, make it equal to 0. I can divide everything by 2. I like smaller numbers. And then see if we can factor it. Factors of 4 that add to 3, there are none. There's factors of negative 4 that add to 3, but not positive 4 Okay, that add to 3. And this is not a perfect square trinomial either. This doesn't factor. Okay, it seems like it. One of my students asked, is it a perfect square trinomial? Is it x plus 2 squared? Well, x plus 2 times x plus 2 would be x squared plus 4x plus 4. So it doesn't factor. So let's use the quadratic formula on this. And I would not complete the square because that's an odd number right there. All right, so uh, when we um, square that, we get uh, 9 minus 16 inside of there, which is negative 7. Well, I can't square root a negative number, you guys. That just means that there is no solution whenever the discriminant is negative, okay? All right, you guys, if you are in our class, that would be your assignment. Take care.